VAX ONE POWERBLADE 5 DUAL PAD AND CAR REVIEW The VAX ONE POWERBLADE 5 DUAL PAD AND CAR VACUUM CLEANER has been one of my favorites for years now. Well-priced, powerful cleaning, and a wide range of accessories across all three sizes. With the latest version, they've taken their biggest step forward yet, with a real-time battery display and a new floor head. It has an excellent cleaning ability, but it's a bit more expensive than its predecessors. The VAX ONE POWERBLADE 5 DUAL has a similar control interface to its predecessor, the ONE POWERBLADE 4. It has the same orientation as the VIN, and both blades have the same controls. One reason why these two products are so similar is that they're both from the ONE POWER lineup, meaning they use the same battery technology. You can replace the battery for any ONE POWER device, including the VAX ONE POWER Glide. If you've already purchased a ONE POWER device, you can install a new battery to increase its runtime. With the VAX ONE PREG Dual Pad and Car Upright, VAX provides two large 4.0 AH batteries, each with an external charger. That's the same load up as with the VAX ONE UP Dual Pad and Car Upright. A second reason why VAX hasn't changed its design too much is that it didn't really have to. Back when the VAX Blade 2 Max was released, it had a similar shape to the current one. It was comfortable to handle and use. And it still is today. It weighs just 3.85 kilograms, so it's not too heavy for people who want to use it for light tasks around their house. And because it has two batteries, it's also convenient to carry around. Look carefully, and you'll see that the improved design is actually quite subtle. When the vacuum cleaner is switched on, the display lights up to show how much power remains. Turning the vacuum cleaner off turns it off completely. You can then switch it back on again later if needed. When the vacuum cleaner is switched on, the floor light comes on automatically. In addition, the vacuum cleaner has two operating modes, regular cleaning and high power. One of these modes is suitable for everyday vacuuming. The other is ideal for cleaning carpets where the dust gets stuck into the carpet fibers. Motorized equipment has an antimicrobial coating to prevent bacteria from forming on the tool. It's disappointing that VAX doesn't provide a way to attach a second tool to its wall brackets. The original version of this article had an error where it said that VAX quoted a 45-minute runtime for its vacuum cleaner. In fact, the quoted runtime is 45 minutes per charge. We regret any confusion caused by this mistake. With standard mode and carpet mode, the iRobot Roomba 960 lasted for 27 minutes when running at its lowest speed. When using boost mode, however, the robot ran for 11 minutes. On average, that's enough time to clean an average size house. In standard mode, the motor emits a low-pitched noise, but in turbo mode, it sounds a bit too loud for my taste.